Morning, you are watching Breakfast Television. It is 7.23 and the live eye today out here in Delta at the Orphaned Wildlife uh, Rehabilitation uh, Center. And uh, Mindy, we have a very vocal yeah. great horned owl here today. Yeah, so this uh, great horned owl actually came to us uh, last week. He had been hit by a car right here in Delta. So a local great horned owl. And he is suffering from a right eye injury. And it's quite likely that he will actually lose the sight in this eye. Um, but given the uh, the hit, um, it's actually doing not too bad. And so today with the exam, I'm just checking him to see how he's doing. Um, I'm going to put a little saline in his eye to make sure that it stays moist and there's no infections and, and things like that. They tolerate it. Now when we talk about whether um, a bird can actually be released mm -hmm. back, would something like having um, blindness in one eye mm -hmm. prevent them from being released? Well with owls, actually no. That's the great thing about it. Owls actually rely on on their hearing to hunt. They do just fine in the wild with one eye uh, or you know both eyes but blind in one. Yeah they they're fascinating they're able to adapt and uh, hunt just as well. And periodically we're hearing this great horned owl either click his beak mm -hmm. or make a kind of like a kind yeah, of sound. So it's just sort of a defense. He's like, okay. yeah, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be examined. Leave me alone. I'm a wild animal. And people should remember that too exactly. when they are, you know, maybe approaching an animal or a bird that needs to be rescued. Yeah. Bruce, why don't you come on in here? Because we should point out now, yeah. we won't be able to show this live on air because the timing of it hasn't worked out. Is Bruce coming on in? Bruce? Bruce, come on in. Um, because <laughs> someone actually just called moments ago and said we yeah. have received um, we, we found an owl yeah and this yeah. is now just we haven't we don't know what we're dealing with we so we're gonna record we're this yeah. we're gonna record this for our BT extra yeah. Russ that will appear online later on today we just can't hold them for another hour till we're up next so we're yeah. gonna record this for our BT extra but by the way they are having uh, Russ an open house here this weekend for more details check out their website and all the things that you can do and how you can help Oh, amazing I, I, doing amazing work look at how chill that little fellow is right there and you know, Jody and Rias, we always love it when our viewers tweet us and acknowledge what we're doing. We have to point out, Mindy, that um, we received a very special tweet just moments ago from, um, well, rock star, yeah, Biff, Biff Naked, Naked, who said she's watching us from yeah. her hotel room. Yeah. Um, and uh, how awesome. So we've actually got a special uh, yeah. acknowledgement so here for Biff. This is for Biff Naked. This is an adult female red tail hawk that came to us last week after being hit by a card. And uh, Biff, this is for you. We're going to name this red tail hawk Biff Naked. <laughs> <laughs> um, if anyone does come across a bird mm -hmm. that they believe is in distress, and th that's the whole point, they have to believe it's in distress. Exactly. Because they're not always. Not always. Right? Yeah, what should they, they be doing? Um, the, the one thing I would in, encourage everyone to do is actually um, look up your local um, wildlife rescue center, punch in their phone number into your phone, and should you ever happen across an injured wild animal, um, you have it right there and you can call and get instruction on what to do. Tell us a little bit about this red-tailed hawk. Yeah, okay, so uh, she was found on Golden Ears Way and she had been struck by a car and uh, she suffered really just a minor concussion. And uh, so this is something you guys don't get to see very often. We are doing an exam, we're checking her, we're gonna weigh her one more time, but she's actually graduating. She's gonna be moving outside of intensive care and uh, going to a bigger enclosure, getting ready for release. So something like a, con a concussion for a bird, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm assuming it's similar to a human. They, they have periods of disorientation. It could last the symptoms for quite a long time. Exactly, yep. So we treat um, basically the same way with anti-inflammatories and pain medications and lots of rest. And uh, this uh, lovely young lady came through with flying colors, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> and, and even just, I don't want to get my fingers too close because right. I know they can snap yep. at you, but I'm looking at the wing here. Yeah. What would that be an indication of right here? Okay, so what's happening here, I'm just going to cover up here, is um, when she initially came in, we did see a little bit of blood uh, on her wing, but what we noticed, it was actually just what's called a broken blood feather. Okay. So it's a new feather that was coming in and it got nicked and there was a little bit of blood. There's no broken bones. So it just looks like it's just something. Just looks a little. Yeah. This is why they know what they're doing. They have an open house, by the way, here this weekend where you can uh, see some of the resident birds like Snoopy, and we'll see Snoopy later on. But we're going to take a little break here on BT. What will the weather be like for birds once they are released? Yeah. Uh, we've got Hopefully those details good. coming up next. But yeah, go ahead and wait. We'll be right back, everybody. 
this is who behind me? <laughs> this is Audie. Careful, there's an owl behind you. There is, yes, and we already know they're vicious, but not Audie. Not Audie. No, no. Uh, Audie's actually fishing for duckies. It's one of the famous games that happens at our open house, and the kids can come in and fish for duckies, and they win all kinds of owl-related prizes. It's uh, lots of fun. They oh, really enjoy it. Audie duck lost down. the duck. Duck down. But <laughs> no ducks were harmed in no. the filming of this segment. <laughs> By the way, the uh, Orphan Wildlife Rehabilitation uh, Center is happening here at this uh, this weekend. The yep. Open House, uh, Jody and Rias. Coming up at just before 9 o'clock, of course, another favourite at the Open House are the resident birds here. We are going to see Victor and, yes, Snoopy. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> We're going to find out more about their Open House coming Snoopy. up just before 9 o'clock. Snoopy's a BT favourite here. I love Snoopy. Oh. Well, nothing like seeing Snoopy in the morning, Dina. I mean, who doesn't love Snoopy? And of course, we have Victor here as well. Um, these are just a couple of the educational birds that you have here at OWL, right? That's right. We have around uh, 40 permanent residents. All of them came in with an injury of some sort, and they are non-releasable because of it. But uh, we were lucky enough to have them as education birds. Because they still have a purpose. So again, for anyone that's just joining us that has never met Snoopy, and I know some people have, tell us a little bit about Snoopy. So Snoopy has been with us since 2007 and uh, he was found in Richmond in a parking lot so we guess that it was likely um, hit by a car um, because he did show some swelling and um, feathers were all ruffled and he had a broken wing uh, but um, unfortunately you know that injury did leave him um, a little bit not good at flying. And what kind of owl is Snoopy for those that uh, don't know? He's very so, tiny. Yes, he I mean, like, is. He's the size of my phone. Look at this. <laughs> it's crazy. And he's not even the <laughs> smallest in the world. So he is a northern saw wet owl. Beautiful. And speaking of beautiful, tell us a little bit about Victor. <laughs> Yeah. And Mindy, of course. We know about Mindy, yeah. though. She's beautiful, too. Tell us about Victor. <laughs> Victor over here is from the Sunshine Coast back in 2009, and he was also hit by a car, actually. Uh, but uh, even though he uh, is non-releasable, he helps us out with education. And people will get a chance to meet these resident birds and potentially get a picture taken with Snoopy as well coming up this weekend, right? That's right. If uh, you go into our pool cage where we have uh, duckies, that you can fish for, you can win a prize to take a picture with Snoopy. Fantastic. Well, for all the details on everything that you can do here this weekend at uh, OWL for their open house, you can check out their website. Thank you so much for joining us. Goodbye, Thank Victor. <laughs> Goodbye, Snoopy. I love you. Oh.